and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee, and today's class is 45 minutes of Pilates and bar. This class will be body weight, but we will utilize a couple of props for an extra burn. As always, if you don't have props, there is no need to use them. I will give you modifications as we go. If you do want a prop, I have a nine inch Pilates ball, really any Pilates ball, a small ball works. A resistance band, mine is medium strength and a stabilizing, stabilizing surface, a chair, a countertop, a wall, whatever you usually use for bar at home, definitely have something close by. There's a Spotify playlist in the description as always, and let's get started. Feet wider than the hips, we'll start with a stretch, soft bend in the knees, Let's sweep the arms up overhead. Find a side bend over towards the left, right hand hooked with the left. Inhale, come back through center and switch. So rooting down through the feet and thinking about leaning the side body over. Big stretch for the obliques. Feels so good. Last one. And then come back through center. Take the hands down by the sides. We'll take them to the thighs and then bend down into a wide squat, heels in, toes up. Dip the right shoulder down, gaze to the left. Come back through center and switch. Side to side a couple times. Starting to work into the transverse plane. Twisting. Beautiful, come back through center, straighten through the legs, fold all the way over the feet. You can swing, nod the head yes and no. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Come to a halfway lift in the spine, left hand down underneath the face. On your inhale, open the right arm to a twist. On the exhale, bend into the right knee, find a side lunge. Inhale, straighten the right leg, exhale, release the right hand. Left arm lifts, breath in, breath out, bend into the left knee. Inhale to straighten, exhale to lower. Good, again. Moving side to side, knowing that your pace is perfect, even if it doesn't line up with mine. Moving with your breath, warming up your own unique body. Beautiful, find a fold. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Next inhale, roll all the way up to stand. And we'll heel toe the feet together and face the chair. So come a full arm's distance away from the chair and then start to hinge at the hips. Walk the hands onto your chair and then just sort of hang in front of it. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Come on up, step the right foot forward, step the left foot back into a lunge. Take a deep bend into the left knee and then straighten through the right leg, lean forward. So using your chair as a little balance. If you wanna do it without the chair for an extra challenge, you are more than welcome to do so. But this is just our warm up. Good. Keep the bend in the knee, come all the way down, untuck the left toes, plant the left hand, and then take right hand to right thigh. From here, tuck back toes back under, and then twist. Beautiful, gently release the left knee, put the hands back on your chair, and then just step back forward, we'll switch. Right foot steps back, dip down into a lunge, and then straighten, hinge forward. Good. Beautiful. This time coming down, untuck the toes as you readjust. Right hand down, left knee bent. Left hand to the thigh, then retuck the toes, lift the knee, and then twist. Good. 
Release the right knee back down, hands on the chair, and step forward. All right, from here, we're gonna come down to a seat. You can grab the band and the ball on the way. Ball is going to go behind our back. Band around the feet. Walk the feet about hips width so that there's tension on the band. Ball behind low back, so you're sitting up tall, hands behind the head. We'll lean back onto the ball right here, nice and slow. Lean back for two, then lift for two. Lower, lift. All right, core is already shaking. If you don't have the ball, you're just doing a regular sit up. Good. Down, lift. All right, let's add a knee into the chest right here. Right knee, lower down, left knee. So as you crunch, Pull one knee up to the chest, elbows wide. If that's too challenging, you can reach the fingers forward for less of a challenge. Good, crunch, crunch. Keep going, you got this. Crunch, four counts, four, three, two, one, keep it back, reach forward, just a pulse, yeah. <sighs> Deep breaths, think about taking your ribs towards your hip bones, good. Lift, lift, all right, here's four, three, two, back to beginning, full range, lift, lift, lower, lower, up, down, beautiful, crunch, lay back. Again, your option is to keep the fingers forward the whole time. You choose the intensity for you today. Let's add the knee in four. We'll start left in three, two, one. Left knee, right knee. So keeping the tension on the band as you crunch. So challenging. Deep, deep layers of core working. Couple more. We'll finish with that pulse. In two, right here, lean back, little pulse. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. Come on up to sit. That was spicy. Great work. Band goes off to the side. Ball stays at the back of the mat. And we'll just flip around to come to a forearm plank. The ball is going underneath the shins. If you don't have a ball, you'll just take a regular forearm plank and mimic the movements. If you have a foam roller, that could work well in place of a ball. All right, forearms down. You can interlace the fingers or just press the palms, palms together. Curl the ball underneath the shins, shoulders over elbows. We'll lift the knees, find a little forearm plank on the ball. So just finding this balance, belly button to spine, tucking tailbone under just slightly. We'll roll the ball in slow, roll the knees in slow. In four, three, two, right here. Roll in, roll out, good. So it's like you're rolling to a little bear shape. Like if you're on the reformer, the ball would be your carriage. <sighs> Down and in. Good. Core is absolutely on fire. <sighs> Pull. Couple more. Four. Three. Then we'll drop the knees. We'll grab the ball in two, one right here, drop the knees, grab the ball in between the feet, walk the legs back, come down, make sure you have enough room, lower all the way down, squeeze that ball in between the feet, flex the toes, little lift, little lower. All right, so now we're in a prone position, 
meaning we're on our belly. You can let the head rest on the mat, make a pillow, totally up to you. You're squeezing the ball in between the heels, the ankles, and feeling this in your glute max. Good. Down, up. You got it. Lift. Here's four. The re will try to hold the thighs up, squeeze the ball double time. Right here, squeeze. In, in, in. Holy booty on fire. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try to keep the thighs lifted as much as you can. Four counts. Three. Two. One, great work. Put that ball back down, press yourself back up. We're going back to that forearm plank. Forearms down, shins on your ball. Lift the knees, straighten the legs out, roll it in slow. In, out, in, out. So challenging, but so good for those deep layers of core. In, out, in, out. Push into your forearms. Yes, so strong. Last four, last three, last two, last one. Drop the knees down. Oh my goodness, great work. Right, press up, move that ball off to the side, grab your band, and come up to stand. Good time for water if you feel like you need some. Moving the chair into your space, if it isn't already. Band is going around the thighs. We'll lean forward onto the chair with the forearms. So come about a bent arm distance away from the chair. Feet hips width, send the hips back, and then place the forearms on the chair. Again, you can interlace or palms together. Heel toe, right foot in towards center, kick the left leg back, we'll lift up for two, down for two with the left leg. So you might have to adjust your band. It should be just above the knees for maximum challenge. A Little bit higher is a little bit less of a challenge. Of course you can do this without a band. Lift, good. You'll feel it in your stabilizing leg as well. Lift, lower. My forearms are already just sliding off the chair because they're sweaty. Lift, lower, good. Up, up. All right, we're gonna add on pretty quickly. We'll bend into the right knee as we lift the left leg. Right here, bend. Straighten, so it's kind of like a one-legged squat action. If you need to take the hands to the chair, that's a great place to be. My forearms will not stop sliding, so that's where I am right now. As long as it feels good in your low back, and you're feeling this work in your right stabilizing hip. And you're sending the hips back. Yes, that's awesome. Lift, lower, very spicy. Couple more, we got four. Three, two, hold it here, little pulse left leg, up and up. Lift, lift, low ribs pulling in, core engaged, lift, Lift, all right, we're gonna do that again. We'll add a left knee pull into the chest as we come up in two, in one. So we'll go bend, lift, pull left knee into the chest, bend, lift, pull. So you kick back as you bend and then pull left knee. Yeah. Good. Couple more. 
Here's four. Three, we'll hold left knee into the chest. Lift and lower, right heel. Right here, up, down. Lift, lower. So you're holding left knee in, core engaged. Four, three, we get to switch sides. Two, one, right here. Drop left foot down. Readjust your band if you need to. Left foot's gonna step forward. Right foot will step back. Bent knee. Forearms distance away from the chair. Lift the leg, right here, up. Down. My right leg, right glue on fire. Lift. Maybe you're on the hands. We all have different bodies, so what feels best in your body is probably different than what feels good in mine. You're hinged forward, your core is engaged. Yeah, lift, lower. Hips square. Couple more, we have that bend. So as we lift the leg, we send the hips back bent into the left knee. Right here, bend, lift. So again, it's like a one-legged squat action in the left leg. You'll feel it after one or two reps. Your right leg is also working, of course. But I do want you to focus on getting deep in the left leg. Good. Deep breaths. Lift, lift, beautiful. We hold it, we pulse. In four, three, two, one, right here, little lift, little lift. When we do that last little push, pull the knee into the chest, back to the shape. In four, three, two, one right here, so we bend, lift, bend, lift, good, bend, lift, back, forward, back, forward. These leggings in the band are not friends. They're really slippery, so it always slides around. All right, we're gonna hold the right knee up. Right here, left heel, lower, lift. Holding the right knee into the chest. Whew. Left leg absolutely on fire. Down, up, down, up. Good. Last four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, all right. Band off to the side for now. We're gonna grab our ball. If you have, if you don't have, you'll just pop the heel up. I'll walk you through it. So a chair can stay where it is as long as it's going to be underneath your left foot, if not, switch it. So left heel onto the ball. Right foot steps way out into a wide squat. Heels in, toes out, so most of the weight will be in your right foot. Little dips right here, dip, dip. All right, so you're gonna feel it more in the glute on your right leg, more in the inner thigh on your left leg. Good, spine straight, core engaged, low ribs pulling in. And if you don't need the chair, you can totally do it without. Dip, dip, good. Dip, dip, stay low, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, maybe a small smile. Four, three, we'll hold low. Press into the ball with the left heel right here. Press, press, press. Whoo, inner thighs. If you don't have the ball, you're just lowering and lifting the heel. Press, press, press. Good. Eight counts. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We hold it back to those dips right here. Dip, dip. Oh my goodness. Left inner thigh on fire. Lift, dip. Yes. All right. Hold it low. Press into the ball. Push. Push. You got it. Second round. Push. Push. Then we're going to take the hand back to the chair if it isn't there already. Lift and lower right heel. In four, three, two, one. Hold that squeeze on the ball. Left hand to your chair. Right heel up, down, lift, lower. Holy stabilizing in the left leg. Down, up, <sighs> lift, lower. So, so good. Lift, lower. All right, we're almost to the other side. We keep the heel up, one set of pulses in four, three, two, one. Little dips. If you don't have a ball, both of your heels are lifted. You're pulsing. Down, down, down. Eight counts. Six, four, three, two. Oh my goodness, stand up. Woo, that is one of the hardest thigh sequences. All right, switch the chair. Ball goes underneath your right heel this time. So your toes are down, your heel is on the ball. Your left foot steps out wide. We just start with a dip. Spine straight, dip. Dip immediately, feeling the right thigh. Dip, dip. Dip, dip. You got it? Dip, down, down. Again, maybe right hand to hip. Challenge yourself. Dip. All right, we hold it low. Press into the ball. Three, two, one. Hold it. Press, press, press. Small. If, you're, if you don't have a ball, remember, lift, lower the heel. Good. Pulse, pulse, press. Oh my goodness, almost there, eight, seven, we dip in six, five, four, three, two, one, hold that squeeze dip, down, down, dip, dip, whoo, dip. Dip. All right, one more time. We pulse into the ball. Three, two, one. Right here. Press, press, press. Woo! Press, press, press. You got this. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Almost there. Four. Three. We take the hand back to the chair. Lift and lower left heel. Right here. Right hand on the chair. Left heel up, left heel down. Good. Almost there. Final push. We have these lifts, then we pulse, then we're out of here. Down, up, down, up. I am shaking. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I am. Down, up. All right, let's pulse right here. Heel up, dip, 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 dip. That ball is sliding out from underneath my foot because I'm so sweaty. Dip, 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 final push. Dip, dip, yes. Dip, dip, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God, stand up. Great work. All right, move that ball off to the side. Let's put to the chair facing you. So the seat facing you. And we're going to come down, lay in front of the chair, and we'll find a little bridge sequence. So ball goes in between the thighs. 
We'll do lots of inner thighs today. Heels come up onto the chair. Let's just start by squeezing the ball. Squeeze, squeeze. So you're digging your heels into your chair. If you don't have a chair with a seat, that's okay. You'll just do a regular bridge. So right now you can just have the feet flat on the ground, squeezing the ball, and you lift and lower the hips. Good. Eight counts. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. We hold the squeeze on the ball. We'll lift and lower the hips just a few inches. Three, two, one. Here, lift. Lower. You'll start to feel your hamstrings lift. Lower. Good. Hips up. Hips down. Hips up. Hips down. Woo! Hips up. Hips down. Lift. Lower. Yes. Up. Down. Beautiful. Lift. Lower. Eight counts. Eight. Here's four. We'll keep it lifted. Find a little pulse and squeeze in four. Three, two, right here. Little pulse squeeze, pulse squeeze. Oh my goodness. Lift, lift. Couple more. We got four. Three, two, one. Lower the hips. From here, take the legs up off of the chair. Straighten the legs up to the sky. You're still squeezing that ball. Tap right foot. Tap, lift, switch, left foot. A little bit of core. Tap, tap, inner thighs as well. Tap, tap, good. Tap, tap. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Keep the legs up. We're going to lower the legs to tap the chair. Arms by the sides. Lower for two. Lift for two. So you're still squeezing that ball. Lift. Yes. Lower. Lift. Beautiful. Down. Up. Lower. Lift. I am shaking. Down. Up. All right. Feet go back onto the chair. Three, two, one. Right here. Just squeeze. In. In. All right. Last time we're doing this bridge. Squeeze. 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 <sighs> squeeze. Squeeze. All right. We'll lift. Right here. Hips up. Hips down. Heels dig into your chair. You're just holding the squeeze on the ball. Yes. Lift. Lower. Good. Lift. Lower. Couple more. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up. Little pulse. Little squeeze. Eight counts. Then we're going to flip around. We'll find a tabletop. Rest the right hand on the chair in four. Three, two, one. Right here. Drop the hips. Lift all the way up. You can place that ball off to the side. Turn around. Right hand comes onto your chair. Left hand underneath left shoulder. Left leg long behind you. Lift the left leg. Up. Down. Lift. Lower just a couple of these. Four counts, three counts, two. Keep it lifted, hamstring curl, flex the toes. Yeah, in, out, think about squeezing your hamstring, good. If this is too much with your hand on the chair, option, right hand down to the ground. This is just a little bit more core work, extra balance. <sighs> Try to keep left knee lifted, yes, in, out. In. Couple more. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep it bent. Little pulse. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh my goodness. Drop it. Switch. Right hand down. Left hand on the chair. Right leg long lift. Up. 
down. Hips are square, core is engaged. Beautiful. Lift, lower, lift, lower, slow and controlled. All right, we keep it lifted. Hamstring curl, flex the toes in, out, in, out. Try to keep the knee in line with the hip if you can. Challenge yourself. We're not here long. It isn't forever. You can do anything for just a couple more seconds. Yeah, you got it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. We finish with the bent knee pulse. In four. Three. Two. One. Keep it bent. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop it down. Great work. Woo. All right. Moving the chair off of the space. We are done with it. And we will come down onto our right side. Grab the ball if you have. If not, no worries. Lay all the way down and we're placing the ball behind the left knee pocket. And then we'll stack the knees so they'll be at an angle in front of us. Left knee on top of right, feet together. Lay all the way down. We'll just lift and lower, up, down. So trying to keep the same angle in the leg as you lift. So this neutral position, the knee in line with the hip, the ankle in line with the knee. Lift, lower, definitely already feeling that. Up, down. Good. Lift, lower. Couple more. Four. Three. We'll hold it up, squeeze the ball. Two. One right here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So the knee is in line with the hip still. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Left hand is in front to support. If you feel like you have the balance, you can go left hand to hip or left hand behind the head. Totally up to you. You should feel this a lot in your left glute. Four. Three. We're going to tap knee to knee, then toe to toe. In two. In one right here. So knee to knee, internal rotation, toe to toe, external rotation. Tap. Tap. Good. Tap. Tap, oh my goodness. Tap, tap, you got it. You're still stacked on your right side. Tap, tap, good. Couple more. Four, three, two, one. Keep it closed, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, oh my goodness. We got four, three, two, we'll keep it open. Just squeeze right here, keep it open. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh my God, all right, we're gonna do a little core intermission. Not yet, in four counts. Three counts, two, we'll grab the ball. Three, two, one, right here, grab that ball with the left hand, straighten the legs out, left arm up over the head, take the right arm out in front of you, we'll lift all the way up. So start to spin the chest to the sky as you lift up the ball to the toes, lower back down, arm goes overhead as you lay on your side. Lift, lower, yes. Down, up, really push into your right hand to help lift. You should feel this in your obliques. Lift, lower, lift, lower, yes. Up, down. All right, we're gonna pass the ball to the toes this time. Lift, pass the ball in between the feet. Lower all the way back down. Then lift, pass the ball to the hand. Lower, lift, pass. You got it. Couple more. Good. 
good. Final four. We'll keep the ball in between the feet. Find a little reach. In two. In one right here. Keep the ball in between the feet. Little reach. Reach, reach, reach. Oh my goodness. This is the last little push. Reach, 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 reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab that ball. Come on up. Great work. We are switching sides. All right, so lay onto your left side now. All the way down. Ball behind right knee. Right knee over left, so your legs are just slightly in front of you. You can flex or point the feet, whatever feels best. We'll just lift and lower. Up, down. So again, trying to keep that angle, the right angle in your right thigh. It's tricky. Down, up, down, up. Good. You should start to feel your right glute. Lift, lower, up, down. And of course, if you don't have the ball, you're just doing this without it. Lift, lower, lift. That ball is sliding out, down, up. Right hand can be in front or somewhere on the body, whatever feels best and most supportive for you. Lift, lower, keep going, eight, six, We'll hold it up and squeeze in four, three, two, one. Hold it up, squeeze the ball in, in, in. <sighs> squeeze, 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 yes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You got it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Here's eight. Six, four, we'll go internal to external rotation. Hold the squeeze on the ball. In three, in two, in one right here. Tap knee to knee, tap toe to toe, knee to knee, then toe to toe, toe to toe. <laughs> Good. Ball is just falling out. Muscle fatigue plus lots of sweat, <sighs> tap, tap, yes, so, so good, tap, tap, you got it, <sighs> tap, tap, we'll keep it closed right here, just squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right, hold it open, squeeze. Oh my goodness, we'll grab that ball. We'll find that side V up in four, three, two, one, right here. Grab the ball, left arm goes out in front of you, right arm over the head, straighten the legs out. We'll lift up, roll onto the seat, lift, lower. So you have to roll onto your hips, your pelvis, your glutes in order to lift. And you're using your left hand to help push and lift you up. Good. And when you lay down, you're laying back onto your side. So you have a twisting action as you lift. Yes, lift, lower, press, push, a couple more. We add the ball pass from hands to feet. Let's do it this time, pass the ball, lower down, 
Grab it. Lower down. Oh my goodness. Lift. Lift. Deep breaths. We're almost there. We'll finish with that pulse. In four, three, two, one right here. Little reach. Little reach. Push into your left forearm. Reach. Reach. Holy right obliques. Final eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Oh my God. All right, sit up. Put that ball off to the side. We are finishing with a little bit more core with the band. All right, so lay down. Band is going to go around the hands. Feet together, knees wide into a diamond shape. And take the band and place it around the edges of the hands. Reach the band, reach the arms up overhead. We're going to close everything together, keep the legs as is. So we'll go lift for two, lower for two. So the legs are wide. Your toes or your heels are pressing towards each other. Whatever feels best. But your inner thighs are open to the sky. Ribs pulling in towards hips as you crunch. Down, lift. Good. You got it. Eight. Four, three, two, Keep it lifted right here, a little reach towards the toes. You're holding tension on the band. Good. Four. We keep everything. Just reach the arms overhead. Two. One right here. Reach overhead. Reach overhead. Tap. If you need to lay the head back as you reach, that's a great option. Good, here's four, three. We're gonna keep the band overhead, close and open the knees. In two, in one, band overhead, just close, open, close, open. All right, as we open the legs, we'll press into the band right here. Press, press, hello, triceps. Inner thighs are working. Press. Press. Soft bend in the elbows. Belly button to spine. Low ribs in. Yes. Push. 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 You got it. Eight counts. Six. We'll keep the legs open, hold the tension on the band. Tap, band to feet. Three, two, one, right here, lift. Now as you lower, tap, lift, lower, tap, lift, lower, tap. Oh my goodness. Inner thighs and core on fire. Last four, last three. Last two and one. Oh my goodness. Lower down. We are done. We'll take a little stretch. Lay the head down. Close the eyes for a moment. Let the knees turn in towards each other. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Let it go. Very good. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Draw the knees back in towards the chest. 
Let's rock up to a seat and find a wide-legged seat. So heels drawing down towards the mat, toes curl up. We'll find some side bends. So right hand down towards the right foot, left arm sweeps up and over, and then lift and switch. Beautiful. One more each side. And then come back through center. Let's walk it forward into a wide-legged forward fold. Keep spinning the inner thighs to the sky and think about lengthening the spine. Walk yourself back up and then take the left foot in towards the right thigh. And then we'll take right foot all the way up and around for a twist to the outside of the left thigh. Right hand down behind you, inhale, left arm up, and then exhale to twist over towards the right. Lengthen through the spine on the breath in. Twist deeper on the breath out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Come back through center, and we'll just switch. Left foot steps to the outside of the right thigh, left hand behind, inhale, and exhale to twist. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath. Beautiful, come back through center and you are done. I hope you loved this class as always. Please let me know down below if you did. Give this video a like, a comment, a subscription to the channel. It really helps to support me and I will see you in my next video.